Look at that. Hey friends, I'm Jen. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. Today, we're gonna to be hatching some chicks. So you can see the blood vessels right there, and in the middle is where the chick is developing. Other ones, very clear development there. Let's see where everything's going. There's that air sac at the bottom, and the air sac's gonna get bigger and bigger. Okay guys, well we have 100% development so far, which is pretty exciting. I'm really hoping that we have 100% hatch rate because it would make me sad if any of those chicks didn't hatch, so we'll see, but I'm excited to have some little baby silkies and some new olive acres to raise here at the farm. It is day five, and we are going to go check on the eggs. This guy is really sleepy, as you can see. It's like 12.30, and I've been staying up editing a video, so. But it's Friday, so we can sleep in tomorrow. We are getting a windstorm today. Windstorms here in upstate New York can get up to 70, even 80 miles per hour. And last time we got a major windstorm, we lost power for about 24 hours. That would not work for incubation that we're doing back here. So we really need to make sure that the power transfers. As soon as the power goes off, that there's a backup source for this incubator. This is what's called an uninterruptible power supply. And basically it has a battery backup and so it plugs your device into one of these outlets and it plugs into the wall. And whenever there's a power outage, the uh, transfer, the, the, the device automatically transfers the power from the mains power over to the battery backup without any interruption to service. Um, obviously it's a battery, so it doesn't last forever, but it's a way to give us some buffer time to get a generator up and running and get the incubator plugged into that. So, anywho, thumbs up that we don't have a power outage, but if we do, we have a plan. Well, Chicky is like way bigger. Is it moving around? Yeah, it is. Wow. A lot. Yeah. It's an active little chicken. I don't remember that last time we did this. Another one. Here it is. Lots of stuff going on. Okay. Aww. You look crazy. So I'm horrible about writing stuff down and remembering details. So I use a little app on my phone called Hatch a Batch to track things. It's free, it's really easy. You just put in the start date and it just tells you which day you're on. So today we're on day 11. And it's also cool because it tells you what's going on on that day. So today it looks like for the chick inside the egg, the eyelids are growing over the eyes and the tail feathers are appearing. So 
So we're at 67% complete with the incubation. This one might be a little different because silkies are known to hatch a little bit early, more like day 18 at times, so we'll see. So at this point, that little chick in the egg is covered with little down feathers. We might even be able to see them through the egg. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on inside those little shells. It's moving around a little bit. Yeah, you can see a little fluttering. So in just four more days, we are going to be putting the eggs on lockdown, which means no more candling and we're going to be replacing the little turntable thingy with a cardboard liner that allows the chicks to have a nice grip once they hatch. And so at that point, we'll turn off the auto turn on the incubator, we'll add a little bit of extra water to the little humidifier tank and we will just watch and wait um, for two to three days until those little chicks hatch. This is our, what do you call it? Donut. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Do you know? The actual ring? Is that what you call this thingy? For well, the chicks? Like with regard to chickens. <laughs> I call this cardboard, but I don't know, I don't think that's what you're asking me. <laughs> cardboard. <laughs> This is going to be replacing the turning table. <laughs> the turning plate because the chicks are getting ready to go on lockdown. Actually, they're not getting ready to, they're going on lockdown, like right now. So we are going to be replacing that with this, laying the eggs down on the tray, and then we won't be touching the incubator until we open it up to let those little chickies out. So we wanted to share this last little candling experience with you guys. Make sure all the eggs are continuing to develop and we don't have any that are going bad because you definitely want to remove those before lockdown. So day 18 guys, let's get excited. Okay, there we go. All of them have a nice clear air sac. days on day 21 we're going to start seeing a lot of movement and some pipping with the grand arrival the great egg escape on Sunday okay guys say goodbye to the chicks for now you will see them hatch in just a second
this one is chick number one. Our first Olivegar. Olivegar number two. That works. Hi, sleepy baby. I can't keep my eyes open. I'm so tired. She's falling asleep in her hand. Oh, I know. How fresh. Nope, she likes your hand. <laughs> this one had splay leg when she was born, which basically just means that her legs were having difficulty balancing straight and they were kind of splaying outwards. So that's why you see that little splint that we put on her legs, which is just a little splint made out of vet wrap and her legs will straighten out in the next week or so. But she's so sweet. She's just a little snowball. You're so soft, sweetie. Silky number two. This one is like a blue gray silky. Super cute. I think this is one of the first ones that hatched. I'm so excited about this little one because it's a partridge, I believe, which is the marking pattern that can happen in silkies. This one's standing up pretty tall though, so it makes me wonder, are you a roo? Maybe. So cute. Okay, that's silky number three, guys. One more. And this last little one is darker gray. Look how cute and stout. Very stout. All six of the chicks. And one's passed out standing up. I'm so sad that that last little chick didn't hatch. It, it makes me sad to think that there could be one more sweet little chick to add to the farm. But I'm going to focus instead on the six that we do have and how grateful I am for all of those little chicks making their way into the world. And now we get to love on them. 100% success is pretty uncommon. Even in the perfect environment, it's still uncommon. When our silky hens hatched out chicks, they also had one that did not make it. Again, I'm not sure why, but it does happen and it's just part of the process. But those six little chicks, guys, they are pretty darn cute and we're really grateful for them. Well, friends, thank you for watching The Great Egg Escape. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing these little new six fluffy babies enter the world. Now these six babies need names, friends. Comment below, what should we name them? What are some fun ideas? Maybe some gender neutral ideas, maybe some names for hens or names for roos. Send me all of the suggestions, I can't wait to hear them. We have so many chicks to name and we are so excited to have you guys be a part of that process.